Welcome to CurseBreak.com. This is Evangelist from the Press. It's a great blessing to come to you again to pray with you in the name of Jesus. Today, I'm taking this time to pray to break the curse of poverty. If you're living under a curse of poverty, I want to pray with you. I want to ask the Lord to set you free in Jesus' name. And I'm standing with you according to Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19. The Bible says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. That's what I'm praying for. That God will supply all your needs. That God will bless you, prosper you. If there's any curse affecting your finances, we're asking the Lord to deliver you, to break this curse in Jesus' name. Would you join me right now in prayer? Let's believe God for your freedom today. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, today I'm taking this time to pray with my precious brother and sister, and we're praying specifically for the breaking of curses of poverty. Every one of them, Lord God, that is suffering right now because of a curse of poverty. Some of them, they grew up in an environment where poverty was the norm, where lack was the norm. Father God, I pray that you touch them, that you remove every curse that is affecting their finances, that is affecting their career, that is affecting their future. If they are battling, Lord God, with a spirit of poverty that came through the bloodline, that came through the DNA from the father's side of family, from the mother's side of family, I say in Jesus' name, every ancestry spirit, every curse of poverty, everything that is in the family, everything, Father God, that is hindering this man, this woman to walk in prosperity, I say, break in Jesus' name, loose them right now in Jesus' name. People of God, call on his name right now. Lift up your situation to the Lord, and if you have to repent, if you have to get right before the Lord, if you have to let it go, mindset of poverty, let it go in Jesus' name. Father, I'm praying that you change their mindset. Some of them, Lord God, they have a poverty mindset. They cannot see themselves walking in provision. They cannot see themselves walking in the blessings. And so, Father, I pray, Lord God, for the deliverance in the realm of the mind, every stronghold of poverty in the realm of the mind, everything that hinders this man, this woman to see better days ahead of them. I say, break in Jesus' name. Loose them right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you shine your light and that you show them, Lord God, every area in their lives concerning their beliefs that they need to change, areas in their lives that they have agreed with a spirit of poverty, every area that they have come in agreement with poverty and lack in their mindset. I pray, shine your light, expose everything that needs to be exposed, everything that they need to let it go, everything that they need to say goodbye from this day on. I pray, Father God, to deliver them, shine your light in all of us and expose, Lord God, areas of unbelief, areas of doubt, areas in our lives that we have allowed the enemy, Lord God, to create, Lord God, a stronghold in our lives. We say, loose in Jesus' name, Lord, we repent, we renounce poverty mindset, we let it go in Jesus' name, and we ask you right now, Father God, every ancestral spirit, every spirit that came, Lord God, through the DNA from both sides of family. We command the spirit to be bound with chains of fire. Everything that fights against this man, this woman, fight against their career, fight against their finances. I pray, deliver them. I pray, Father God, that my brother, my sister, their mindset will change. Their lives will change from this day on. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you open a door for them. I pray for those who are in need of a job, those who are in need of a better job, those who are in need of a better career. I pray pray, Father God, that you open the door in everything that stands on the way, every demonic power influencing, hindering them, Lord God, to find the best job, the best career. We say, 
work in Jesus' name. Loose them right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in their lives. I pray, Father God, in agreement with them, asking, Lord God, for the breaking of poverty, the breaking of the spirit of lack, removing from their lives, according to Matthew 18, 18. Your word declares that what we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What we loose on earth will be loose in heaven. So, Lord God, we bind, we command to be broken everything that fights against their finances. Father God, I pray, bless them. I pray for favor with man, favor with God. I pray for a mantle of favor to come upon them. I pray for a special grace to come upon them. I pray, Father God, that you give them strength to work. They strength, Lord God. I pray for the mind. There's something concerning the mind. Lord God, I pray for clarity in the realm of the mind. I pray that you bless them with ideas, with creativity. I pray for new ways of making money. I pray for new ideas upon my brother and my sister. And I pray, Father God, that you bless them, that you open the doors for them. I pray that they will have money to come out of financial death. I pray that they'll be able to pay, Lord God, all their bills. I pray, Father God, that they'll be able to provide for their families, to provide for themselves. And I, I bless them and I come in agreement with them in Jesus' mighty name. If you receive this prayer, people of God, pray with me this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for your faithfulness. I receive my deliverance today. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask you, shine your light and reveal to me every area of my life that I need to change when it comes to my finances. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask you, give me wisdom Give me revelation and insight concerning my finances, concerning my future. I bless you and I thank you for your provision. Thank you so much because I know that you're going to make a way where it seems to be no way. Say thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Welcome to CurseBreak.com. My name is Fernando Perez and today I am praying a money miracle prayer for every one of you who are in need of a financial miracle today. And I'm standing with you according to the book of Luke chapter 1 and verse 37. The Bible says, For with God nothing will be impossible. Amen. Also Mark chapter 9 verse 23, the Bible says, Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Amen? I believe that all things are possible and that includes your finances. That includes your the money that you need to pay for your bills. Amen? And so let's believe God today. I'll encourage you that you pray with me and put your full attention in the Lord Jesus Christ. Give it to Him. You have burden. I know that some of you, you've been carrying so much stress anxiety, fear. Some of you, you look to your finances and you have no clue how you're going to be able to pay for your mortgage, uh, to pay for your rent, to pay for your bills, to put food on the table. And I pray today that everything that is affecting your mind, that is affecting your life, will be broken from your life. And I pray that a financial miracle will be released into your life as we stand in faith in the name of Jesus. Amen? Would you pray with me right now? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. As I'm praying with you, give your heavy burden to the Lord. Give all your fear, your stress, your anxiety, your worry to the Lord. Amen? Let's stand in faith. Let's believe God for this situation to change for the glory of His name. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, today I'm taking this time to stand in prayer with this precious man, with this precious woman who are in desperate need of a financial miracle. Your word declares that all things are possible for those that believe, and that includes financial miracles. And I pray, Father God, that first of all, you 
bring deliverance to this man, this woman. Every one of them, Lord God, they are so stressed out. Some of them, Lord God, they have so much worry, anxiety, fear, and how they're going to pay for their bills, how they're going to take care, their, uh, Lord God, their, their bills, and, and how they're going to be able to uh, put food in the table. Father God, all the stress, anxiety, fear, everything that is affecting this man, this woman, Lord God, I just commend to be broken from their lives. Right now, I ask you for a special anointing to break every yoke of bondage, to break, Lord God, the fear, the anxiety, the worry, the things that is stealing this man, this woman's peace. I say, be gone in Jesus' name. The spirit of heaviness, the weight that is upon this man, this woman, Lord God, that is even affecting their mind. I say, loose them in Jesus' name. Right now, I commend everything that is affecting this man, this woman, to be broken from them, and I pray for the peace that surpass all understanding, the peace of Christ. Lord God, let your peace come upon this man, this woman, and let faith, Lord God, rise inside of this man, this woman. Faith, the faith to believe in miracles, the faith to believe, Lord God, that all things can happen today as we pray. I pray for faith to arise, and I pray, Lord God, for fear. I pray, Lord God, for anxiety. I pray, Lord God, for worry to leave this man, this woman. Now, I declare, leave them now. All the heaviness, all the stress, everything, Lord God, that is stealing this man, this woman's peace is gone by the power of the Holy Spirit. I say, be gone in Jesus' name. And now, Father God, I'm praying, Lord God, that you release an unexpected money miracle. Lord God, let it come to this man, this woman's hand. Money, Lord God, I I call forth money, Lord God, from people that own the money. There are people out there, Lord God, that they own the money. And I pray, I call those money, Lord God, to come into their hands, to come, Lord God, via the mail, to come, Lord God, into their bank from people that own the money. Let it be released in Jesus' name. Every hindrance, everything that is blocking, that is hindering this money to come into their hands, I say be released in Jesus' name. Every hindrance broke in Jesus' name. Also from money, Lord God, from relatives, from family members, I pray, Father God, let money come to their hands. Unexpected money, Lord God, from relatives, uh, from uh, 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 family members, I pray, Father God, let the blessings be released into this man, in this woman's hand, in your precious mighty name. Also inheritance. There are people listen to me right now, Lord God, and they are excited expecting an inheritance. I pray, let inheritance come into their hands. Let provision come into their hands for the glory of your name. I declare the anointing of the Holy Spirit going forth in a supernatural miracle taking place in the life of this man and this woman for the glory of your name. Also, I am praying, Father God, that you release your mighty angels, Lord God, on behalf of this man and this woman to bring the money that belongs to them. Let angels, Father God, go forth ministering the spirits. According to Hebrews 1.14, your word declares that your angels, they are ministering spirits, sent forth to minister to the air of salvation. Let your angels, Lord God, go forth and gather the wealth, gather the money, and bring into their hands what belongs to them in Jesus' name. I pray for money, Lord God, from the government to come into their hands. I pray if the government own the money, let this money come today for the glory of your name. Also, money from the IRS. Lord God, let money appear let money come in the mail. Lord God, checks in their banking account. We declare and we decree today in your precious name. Also from past and present jobs. Father God, I pray for promotions. I pray for provision. I pray, Lord God, for unexpected bonus. I pray, Father God, let the money that they need to come into their hands. Let them find money 
money. Let them find, Father God, lost money. Let them find, Lord God, money, Lord God, in their house. Let money appear, Lord God, in their banking account. I declare and I decree money, Lord God. I don't know how you're going to do, but I believe that you will do, Lord God. I declare and I decree the blessings of heaven coming to this man, to this woman's hand for the glory of your name. Father God, I pray that you open a door that no man can close. And I pray that you close doors and no man can open. I pray also, Father God, that this man, this woman will be able to have ideas, that they will receive ideas uh, today from your presence, Lord God, and how to uh, come up with money and how to be able to pay for the things that they need to pay for. I bless them. I declare and I decree the blessings of heaven coming upon this man, this woman, and changing their situation for the glory of your name. I declare all of this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if you receive, my precious brothers and sisters, say, I receive. Say, I declare and I decree that today, The finances that I need is coming. Say, thank you, Jesus. I bless you. I receive my miracle. Amen. Welcome to CurseBreak.com. Today, I'm taking this time to pray for every one of you in need of a financial miracle. But before I pray, I want to share the word of God to bless your day that is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. The Bible says, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you abound in every good work. Amen? And so let's call upon the name of the Lord. Would you lift up your situations to the Lord, and let's believe Him for a miracle today. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, I stand in prayer in agreement with this man, this woman. Father God, you know each one of them by name. You know what they need. You know the miracle that they need financially. Some of them, they are in desperate need of a financial breakthrough today. And I stand through the power of prayer in your name. Your word declares in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, where two of you agree on earth concerning anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. So, Father God, we stand through the power of agreement in your word, asking that you open a door for them. I pray that you make a way where it seems to be no way. I pray, Father God, that you open the door for a job, for a new job. I pray for favor in the workplace. I pray for provision. I pray for increase, I pray for raises, I pray for bonuses, I pray, Father God, that you place this man, this woman, in front of the right people at the right time. I ask you, Heavenly Father, that these finances that they are in need of right now, Lord God, let it come forth. Let this money come into their hands. I pray for a miracle to take place place in their lives, I pray that you remove the heavy burdens, I pray that you remove the heaviness, the weight, the oppression, everything that is coming against this man, this woman, I pray specifically for the mind of Christ, I pray that you touch them in the mind, that you remove all the confusion, all the fears concerning the future and how to pay the bills, I pray Pray in your precious mighty name that you make a way where seems to be no way. I declare and I decree today, let the finances come from the four corners of the earth into this man, this woman's hand. I pray, Father God, for those who are waiting for a new job, for those who are waiting on a phone call, for those who are waiting for a settlement, for those who are waiting for an inheritance. I pray, let this finance, let this wealth come into their hands for the glory of your name. Father God, I declare clarity of mind. I declare peace in the inside. I pray that you make a way for them so that they can glorify your name. I declare and I decree financial miracles.
obstacles, financial breakthroughs in their lives. And also I pray according to your word found in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14. Your word declares that your angels, they are ministering the spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation. So right now I ask you, give a command to your angels, Father God, to go forth and to gather the wealth that belongs to this man, this woman. Lord God, let your angels go forth, you open the doors. If there's any hindrance in the spiritual realm, if there's anything hindering this man, this woman, to receive the wealth, to receive the finance, to receive the provision that they need, I ask you, Lord God, let every hindrance in the spiritual realm to be destroyed, even now as we pray, and let hope come back into their lives, let strength come back upon their lives, let joy, the joy that comes from your presence, right now I declare upon each one of them, in your precious name, we declare that every hindrance, every spirit of poverty and lack we rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus, and we ask, Lord God, for provision, for promotions, we ask you, Father God, for your blessings to be upon their lives today in your precious mighty name. I declare today the blessings of heaven upon this man, upon this woman, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and praise God. If you receive this prayer, say amen. Say, I receive in Jesus' name. Say, today is the day of my breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to CurseBreak.com. I'm Evangelist Fernando Perez, and today I'm praying a prayer of deliverance for those suffering under a curse of poverty and lack. If you are living under a cycle of poverty, I want to take this time to pray in agreement with you, asking the Lord for the anointing to break the cycle of poverty, misery, and lack that is affecting your life. And I'm standing with you today according to God's word that is found in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. The Bible declares, My son, do not forget my teachings, but keep my commands in your heart. Verse 2, For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Amen. So, Let's pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. If you can, pray with me. Uh, let's pray for your finances today. Let's ask the Lord to break this cycle of poverty, this hindrance that's in your life, affecting your finances, affecting your job, your career. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the precious name of your son Jesus to pray in agreement with my brother and my sister, suffering under a curse of poverty and lack. I stand in the power of agreement according to your word that is found in the book of Matthew chapter 18 verse 19. And I command this stronghold of poverty to be broken from their lives in your precious name. Father, I'm asking right now for the anointing to be released upon this man, to be released upon this woman, the anointing that destroy the yoke of captivity, every stronghold of poverty that is affecting their lives, I command to be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I'm praying specifically if there's any spirit of poverty, misery, and lack that is affecting their lives, that came into their lives through the umbilical cord, through the bloodline, if it came as a generational curse, that came through the DNA, I say broken off in Jesus' name. Father, I'm asking right now that you give orders to your mighty angels to be released on their behalf right now. Let your angels be released with a mission, Lord, to gather to bring what belongs to them, everything that's been held back from them, finances that's been held back from them, jobs, uh, uh, abundances, prosperity, everything that's been held back. Let your angels, Lord, be released with the mission to bring what belongs to them in your precious mighty name. Father, I'm asking you for this spirit. I command that this spirit of poverty and lack that is a affecting their life, that is causing oppression, that is causing sorrow, that is causing hopelessness to be removed from their lives. Father, if there's any vow, 
any covenant, any alliance that was done through their words, through their forefathers with a spirit of poverty. We command this thing to be undued right now. We command this thing to be broken. We release the fire of the Holy Spirit right now to undo, to destroy, to remove from their lives every vow, covenants, pacts, alliance with a spirit of poverty. We say broken off in Jesus' name. Broken off in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you right now for the windows of heaven to be open for the blessings to come upon my brother, my sister. I ask you, Lord, for those who are battling, Lord, for so long with poverty and, and lack. I'm asking, Lord, for the spirit to be removed from them. I'm asking, Lord, that the blessings that belong to them to come upon them. Father, we command as well, the spirit of injustice that is in their lives to be removed, all the injustice that has been done against them, all the injustice, everything that belongs to them, for some reason has been held back. We command to be released at this hour in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I'm asking for doors open doors lord for them lord let these doors to be open even for greater doors of uh, favor prosperity and influence in your precious mighty name father i'm asking lord that you touch their families as well every spirit of poverty that is hovering over their lives or hovering over their home let it be broken father also if there's any spirit of poverty that's in their home any spirit that is hovering over their home that is dwelling, Lord, in their family, in their home. Let this spirit be removed from their lives. And I ask, Lord, for a spirit of excellence, a spirit, Lord, of, uh, of joy to come upon them, Father. Let the blessings, let the prosperity that belongs to them to come to them. I declare today prosperity. I declare blessings. I declare that every stronghold of the enemy, the spirit that is fighting against our finances to pack their belongings and to leave their home in Jesus mighty name. Father, I'm asking you that you bless them, that you open the doors, that you make a way where it seems to be no way. Father, I'm asking you specifically, Lord, for their job, for their finances, for their career, Lord, to take into a new level. I pray, Father, for doors, for favor, for increase, for your blessings to overtake them. Let your blessings overtake them. Let your blessings come upon them even now i declare even lord with the next 24 hours a shift if they align themselves with your will if they do what you ask them father if they align according to your word father i'm asking lord if they position themselves i'm asking lord that you bless that you Pour your blessings upon their lives in ways that they never seen before. I declare your blessings. I declare breakthroughs. I declare let your kingdom come and let your will be done in their lives. In your precious mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, it's been a great blessing to be able to pray with you today again. Amen. And don't forget that the best days of your life is still ahead of you. Love you. God bless you. Have a great day. And bye for now.